Ryan, who's covering uh, Hurricane Florence. Jim, any good news overnight? Yeah, some. The storm was downgraded just a bit, McGraw, but that only accounts for a decrease in the wind speed down to 110 miles per hour. Uh, you know, that's, that's good news, sure, but it also means the storm might be slowing down a little bit. That's bad news. That means that the storm would park itself once it makes landfall over the coast and, and then sort of creep on inland. The best case scenario here would be for it to move quickly out of the area, rain itself out, and quickly move away, but that may not happen. So, sure, it's been downgraded, but uh, these rankings, uh, you know, the Safer Simpson scale accounts uh, takes only the wind into account. It doesn't take the potential rainfall into account. Yeah. Uh, has it shifted in its path at all? Yeah, in the last day, it's kind of moved a little to the left and a little to the right, and now is back dead center on Wilmington. This city here is uh, going to be, we expect at least, unless there's more movement today, the, the point of landfall at about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So, yeah, it's uh, moving a little left, moving, meandering around out there, but still looks as though landfall will be right here. Uh, are, you, are you starting to see st uh, some of the effects of the hurricane now? Maybe a little increase in the wind today. Not much. A little bit gust, uh, gusty wind. The wind's, the sun's been up for about a half hour, and I'm seeing some high clouds overhead, and those may be the extreme outer reaches of the storm. It's still about 200 miles away from here, and so a little quick math shows that it's 200 miles to the eye of the storm, about a 200 miles to the opposite edge which is a 400-mile storm, one side to the other. That's a big hurricane. Yeah, it must feel awful ominous, right, if it's very quiet and not very windy, and yet everyone's telling you that there's a massive hurricane bearing down. It is. That's, it's sort of a creepy uh, effect that you see before a storm like this, especially looking around and seeing so few people around, no traffic in the streets, the businesses boarded up, everybody essentially has gone away or taken shelter up in high-rise hotels. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it, it's, it is sort of an ominous feeling. You can imagine what it was like 120 years ago or so when hurricanes came in. They had no warning. They had no idea that it was going to happen. Yeah, just all of a sudden you woke up one day and, and you're in the middle of a hurricane. Yeah. Uh, Jim Ryan, ABC News correspondent in Wilmington, North Carolina. What's your plan? Are you going to stay there? Yeah, sure. I mean, the network, we've, we're set up here and we're ready to stay. And so we'll see what happens and. the uh, you know, just hope for the best. Or, hope that uh, they they I know ABC News is uh, pretty frugal. They they found you a nice safe place to 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 take shelter, right? Yeah, and stocked up on beef jerky and potato chips. So <laughs> what All else right. do you need? That's a lot of salt. Jim, thanks for for checking in. Be safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, McGraw.